What is up everyone, this is SwordKing090 and this is going to be a brand new video for you today. And today's topic is about phobias. So, a phobia is an irrational fear of something. Just anything could be a fear, honestly. You could look at a website, it could actually tell you a lot of fears in alphabetical order, and you would think that none of this would actually be true. But apparently, it's actually legitimate, and people actually do have a fear of these type of things. But mainly, the most common fears are the things that could actually harm you, which is pretty rational, honestly. But the definition is just pretty much having an irrational fear of something, something that's irrational, meaning that, yes, it could harm you, but there's no reason actually be afraid of it but I don't know the names at the top of my head and I just didn't want to actually look up and memorize it because there's so many things that it's just like wow some of them are really hard to pronounce and I just really can't actually pronounce the words without just stumbling upon it every single time so just an example there's of course there's some fears of water and and the most crazy things I've actually seen is one of them is just a fear of beards yeah some so one person has a beard apparently some person has a fear of that so i guess that they are staying away from that in all in all honesty and then there's some fears that have to deal with not taking a bath or actually taking a bath really some people are germaphobes and then there's other people who just don't want to actually take a bath because they have a fear of drowning so there's a lot of things that actually can trigger the actual response and that what makes people afraid of these things so my question to you is what are your phobias let us know in the comment section below of what are your phobias and how did you get that phobia and what do you do to actually get away from it honestly or how do you react when it happens because we all kind of want to know and i want to tell you guys my phobias i i know i have one legitimate phobia but it's selected and the other one which people don't even know if it's an actual phobia or not but i think i've actually gone over that phobia within another phobia as well i'm going to try to actually explain this as best as i can well let's start out with one phobia that i pretty much got over with which is the fear of cockroaches. I really hated cockroaches. I don't know if there's a phobia name for that, but I just absolutely hated cockroaches because of some bad experience when I was young. Mainly that we didn't actually have, well, we cleaned up the best we could, but we just had an infestation of cockroaches. Whenever every now and then that I was going to a room, there was a cockroach right there. I had what, nothing, I just didn't want anything to do with it. One bad experience is that there was a cockroach that was in the hallway, and I think this is a different breed of of a bug but just looks like a cockroach in itself but it actually spread its wings like spread its wings and started to fly and it went past my head yeah i ran out the door because of that i did not want that thing near me and another instance where a cockroach was on the ceiling and of course that i was on the bed and then the cockroach fell on top of me yep bad experience just gotta have that cockroach away from me and then I had to jump out and run out the door. Every single time I had to run out the door because of these things. These little vermins. These, it's not really a vermin, it's a pest actually. There's a difference here. Anyways, some people have a fear of mice. There's another phobia for you. So, I had to run out the door because of another cockroach. And then there was another instance where I was eating the cheese puffs, you know, the planter's cheese puffs. Those were a long time ago. I don't remember what year it was, but I remember opening that up and then I saw it was ridden with cockroaches. Yeah, that is right. Apparently a little cockroach made a home in there and had a lot of other cockroaches. So I just, when I freaked out, I dropped the, I dropped the little tin thing. I don't know what it's called. Just the cannon itself. And then cockroaches just started getting out of there. Yeah, that sucked as well. And another instance of a close encounter was that I was in the bathroom and I felt something. It was, I don't know what it was. I felt something and then I looked to the left when I was looking at the mirror, nothing. When I looked to the right, there was a cockroach on my neck. Freaking out, I took off my shirt and threw it against the ground. I have no idea if that killed a cockroach or not, but I was kind of hyperventilating. I'm like, oh my god, this thing just happened. This thing just was on my neck. Oh my god, it was disgusting. Then, yeah, later on, we actually hired like an exterminator and he sprayed all the little chemicals around the house and then no more cockroaches. Every now and then, we sometimes get a cockroach. Just every now and then. And in fact, I think there's still a cockroach under my mic stand. A cockroach actually went into my room. I'm like, oh, hey there. 
So what I did was that I put the mic stand, like it's literally a good, I would say probably like 30 to 40 pounds because of the mic shield. And then it had the mic stand with the, the flat little cylinder, like cylinder type disc. And I just picked it up and put it on top of the cockroach. It didn't crush them because there's always, there's a, there's that air pocket in there. It's condensed or concave in, in self. I think that's the proper word. Concave. I have yet to actually check under the thing. And I think it's been like at least two weeks. I have yet to actually check under there. If the cockroach is gone, then I'm going to assume that it died somewhere else. But if it's still under there and if it's still alive, my God, that'd be one like heck of a survivor right there. But one of these days, I'll just wait another week. I'm going to wait another week and actually check under there to see if the cockroach is still alive. If it's not alive, then I'll just pick it up and put it in the trash can. I just didn't want to actually kill it with my shoe and have to actually clean up after the mess. Because when you kill a bug, you squish it. And then of course, you're going to have to clean that up. I really don't want to clean that up. I'd rather pick up a dry, dead cockroach than actually pick up a wet... Oh my god, that's just... In itself, it's already sounding disgusting, right? Just so... Just a squished cockroach? No, I'm not going to pick that up. Although I'm not afraid of cockroaches anymore, I just don't want to deal with them. Because we all, we just don't want to deal with the actual bacteria and all the other things that it may carry. But in other cases, it's like we don't actually have any cockroaches in the house anymore. Just that one instance. So yeah, there's a cockroach underneath my mic stand. Whether it's still living or dead, we will find out eventually. If I make an update on that video, then that's going to be a thing. It's just going to be like a little side clip. It's like, oh yeah, the cockroach I told you about this in this episode. Yeah, it's gone. It's dead. But yeah, I'm not afraid of cockroaches anymore. As far as I know, just as long as they stay away from me, I just don't actually have that irrational phobia anymore. If I have to kill it, I'll kill it, sweep it up with a broom, and then we're done. I should have done that. I should have actually gotten the broom. But it was actually crawling in my room and I didn't want to risk actually having it somewhere in my room. And the last thing I wanted to have to deal with is actually having it crawl in my mouth while I was asleep. Yeah, that, no, I just don't want to deal with that. So, another phobia that it may or may not be legitimate, but it's called tripophobia, if I actually pronounce that correctly. And it's, it's an irrational fear of something or it's an irrational fear of holes. And... Mainly, all it is is that if you look at so many holes, then it causes your skin to crawl. That's all it is. It just, just doesn't look natural in all honesty. And one thing is for certain, do not look up trypophobia because the fact of the matter is, is that people have abused this phobia to where they actually make Photoshop just pictures. They just make it look as disgusting as possible so that it could actually make your skin crawl. That, what well, I would not say is an actual phobia in itself. I'm talking about the more natural quote unquote things. Like looking at the honeycombs where the bees make their honey or looking at a lotus pod where it's just a pod with a lot of holes in it which has the seeds in there as well. And then you have Swiss cheese with a lot of holes in it. If that makes your skin crawl then that's kind of a thing that you could possibly say you have a little bit of a trypophobia but here's the thing people don't know whether or not if it's real or not because of how just silly it looks although there are other silly phobias that people have for whatever reason and i guess it's like this has to be verified but honestly this made my skin crawl only for the thing that it doesn't look natural if it doesn't look natural to me that's what it makes my skin crawl but when i looked up the photos of a lot of stuff of course when they're photoshopped and they're as fake as it can be of course that's going to make my skin crawl but then after viewing more and more and more it, the the effect of it just made it like lessen a bit it just alternately or well, ultimately it's just like it feels like it's just nothing at all so i can't say if i actually do have a phobia of it but for the time being it did make my skin crawl just to look at something that's unnatural and of course photoshop makes everything look unnatural and then you could actually get a fear of that like if you were to look up arachnophobia and you find a giant big spider <laughs> yeah i really suck with synonyms but it's like, yeah, you can see that obviously it's Photoshop, then you just have nothing to worry about. But on the topic of arachnophobia, I have it. Just a selected, just a, it's a selected phobia. And what I mean by that is that I'm afraid of some spiders, while other spiders are like, oh, hey, little buddy. Aw, aren't you cute? I don't really care about that. But other spiders are like, daddy long legs, a wolf spider, maybe. I think wolf spiders are not that bad per se, but just... Mainly the daddy long legs of black widows or anything that just doesn't look so 
it just looks weird, honestly. That's what, those are the ones that I'm actually afraid of. Whenever I see a dust spider or whenever I see a tarantula, honestly, I don't, I'm not afraid of tarantulas. I've held one in my hand. I even petted the tarantula, so it, I did not have a fear of tarantulas because of that. So I think, I think my friend for that one, when he had a pet tarantula and told me to actually pet it and pick it up, it's like, okay, oh, that's actually pretty cool. But for the other spiders, bad experiences. I hate spiders, and that's the thing. So what has happened? that I cannot tell if this is a legitimate memory or this is a dream because it was so vivid and this is the only thing that I remember when I was young and really stuck by to me to this day that when I was young somebody actually picked me up and made me look at a spider it's like hey there's a little spider I freaked out I freaked out I cried I tried kicking my legs but I was like two or three at the time so I couldn't really do much I was just freaking out and from there on forth I just did not want anything to do with any spider whatsoever I cannot remember any other memory that had to deal with spiders or at least the daddy long legs like that the common house spider you find at the house although if you're in Australia or any other like on the East Coast you, you probably have giant common spiders and I would not know how to deal with that I just would not know how to deal with that. I'd probably be freaking out of my mind at this point. But for us, it's that we have all the other different spiders. It's just more, more or less a little tinier spiders with the longer legs. I just, I, I just don't like it. I just don't like those spiders whatsoever. Baby spiders, it doesn't really bother me. But when they're an adult, I freak out. I remember one day that I was hoping my father moved some furniture or the work tables at the backyard and one of the spiders, one of the little daddy long legs type of spiders, I was actually crawling up the walls and I started freaking out. I told my father about it. I was like, hey, there's a spider over there. And what he did, he literally just smacked the spider with his hand and just wiped off his hand. And his reason is like, they are more afraid of you than you are afraid of them. And that is true, honestly, but I can never follow up with that. I cannot bring up the courage to actually face my fears of spiders because of that dream or vivid memory. I can never tell you this. I can never tell what it was for the, for any of the fact of the matter is that I cannot think of anything else that could explain how this happened or why this came to be. But I just cannot explain whether or not if it was a real thing or just a dream. It really sucks. It kind of haunts me there. But I do have a legitimate fear of the, the Black Widows. One of them, I would have to say, was that I was at a party. Well, pretty much I was like, I think, seven at the time. That it was a party where my, my father and his friends were all having fun. And then it was just me and all the other kids that were right there. And we were going to be playing a hide or a game of hide and seek. And it was hide and seek tag. If you're found, you're tagged. And everyone else has to hide. And then you have to find the person and tag them. That type of hide and seek. So there was a barrel where all the beer cans were in there. Yeah, it was that type of party where a lot of people were just either drinking soda or drinking beer. So it had a giant blue barrel right there. And I thought that this would be the perfect place to hide. So while the person was counting and while everyone else was hiding, I actually jumped in the barrel and I thought it was a good hiding space. And then when I put up, when I stuck my head out, I felt that there were webs around me. So when I looked around, there were yellow baby spiders all around and I could only I, I I can't even tell you if these were black widows or not but they kind of look like it but they were yellow so I have no idea what that is not even to this day I cannot tell you because I think I've seen a video where it was a baby or if I think I saw a video where there were black widows just hatching the eggs and then there were baby black widows everywhere so I cannot tell if, I'm pretty sure that these were not black widows but still I cannot tell you for the fact it just pretty much help the fear of black widows regardless so anyways a lot of spiders all around I started freaking out I called my father he told me to get out of the barrel I told him I can't so what he had to do was that he had to pick me up and I'm just grateful that none of the spiders were really on me at that point I think they stayed away from me but when pretty much I dust myself off there were no spiders on me and they were all in the barrel I looked in there's like oh my god they're still there I'm just I'm not gonna jump in there anymore so that was one occurrence and another occurrence I'm trying to remember that we were locked out of my house it sucked it was my father myself and my mother and her friend we were all locked out of the house so I just wanted to fit through the doorway like there's a wooden door and it's a real wooden door it's not a fake one it weighs a lot 
I think it weighs like over 80 pounds. It's a real wooden door. I can tell you that for a fact that I had to help my father carry. He has to carry one side, I have to carry the other side, but it's still heavy regardless. Anyways, so that there's that door and then there's the metal screen door. It's just that decoration door where you can actually see through it, but still it's made out of metal. And I was able to fit in between that because apparently I was that skinny. And usually I do that from time to time just because I'm bored. So I was, while I was waiting, of course, that we had to call a locksmith and have the door open. But in any case, is that we were waiting. I was bored. So I decided to actually wedge myself between the door and the metal door. And then, of course, there were two black widows. I don't know how they got there, but there were two black widows, one behind me and one in front of me. Yep. Great combination now. So I freaked out and I'm glad that the black widow was not on me when I actually opened the door and ran out. And my father had to get rid of those black widows, of course. So it's like that happened. That sucked. And that just built up the fear of it. And then when I had to visit my grandpa's house, and this was like around 12 years old or 13 years old as, I, as far as I remember, but I was bored at my grandpa's house because there was nothing to do. And this was before handhelds were a popular thing where I didn't get a handheld till I was later on in the age of 14 or 15. I just don't remember exactly. But in any case, I had nothing to do. I was bored, so I walked out of the house. And then it was time to come in because it was getting dark. When I turned around, I saw three black widows. One at the footsteps and two underneath the chair. I did not want to get in the house. I told my dad I did not want to get in the house because there were black widows. And he's like, oh, quit being a baby. And he just squished one of the black widows right in front of me. It's like, yep, that happened. That's still not going to help at all because there's still two more. So he actually had to uh, pick me up and carry me in the house. Oh my god. And if I were to see a Black Widow today, it's like, nope, nope, and nope. I'm not gonna go anywhere near that. Of course, that there was a Black Widow at the elementary school that I actually went to. It was at the corner, and pretty much the kids actually killed it with the kickball. So it was like, yep, that happened. That was a thing. At that point, I wasn't afraid of that Black Widow because I was actually farther away from it. I could see it, but just as long as I'm not near it, then I'm okay. But in any case, I just don't want anything to do with the Black Widows. It's that rational fear, and then of course, is that they could actually kill you if they bite you and you don't have any anti-venom. Yeah, staying away from that. So mainly, it's that... I am afraid of the other spiders that just look a little bit unnatural, the one with the longer legs, and then there's the Black Widows type of spiders, and then you have the deadly spiders, and just as long as they look like a tarantula to me, I'm not going to be afraid of it as much. So like I said, it's selected, and I would not want to live anywhere near Australia or any other of the states that has giant common spiders around. I just don't want to deal with that. I'm just glad I live in this home. Not many spiders around. If I do see a spider, I just stay away from it. If I have to kill it with a broom, so be it. Because I'm not going to be touching under a broom anytime soon. So, it's just going to be right there. I'm going to have to probably hose it down every now and then. But, I just don't want anything to do with that. And yes, I know that spiders kill a lot of the bugs and the pests. But, just as long as they're not in the house, then I'm okay. If they're outside, I will leave them be. Just as long as they're not in my field of sight. Because I really don't want anything to do with the spiders because I'm afraid of them. But... That's the top three I could think of. Two of them I've gone over with, and one of them is still selected, but I still don't want anything to do with them. So, in any case, that's all I could say. I think that this video has gone long enough because I had so much to talk about for that video. And again, the question of the day is, what are your phobias? How did you get that phobia? And how do you react when you see it? So, that is my comment question for you. And that's all I got to say. Feel free to leave your answers in the comment section below. So if you have any questions or suggestions or ideas I can make a video about, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. If you have Facebook or Twitter, you may actually message me on there. And if I do use your idea for a video, then I'll credit you verbally within that video. I will leave an annotation to your channel and I'll leave the description, like the channel description link into your Facebook, Twitter, or YouTube, whatever you prefer. And that's going to be my thank you for helping me out for having something to talk about or something to do for that day. 
So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. If you're brand new to the channel, please subscribe because I upload videos every single day except for Sundays because that's going to be my day of rest. So if anything else, all my social media is down in the description below so you'll be able to contact me. And that is it. And I'm sorry if I'm actually going slow is because I'm trying to get back into making live commentary while doing the glass blocks again. So this is all live commentary. Nothing is post commentary. So yeah. I really need to pick up the pace and I really don't want to fall over and die because that's gonna be awkward if that were to be the case. So have a great day everyone, I'm King 90 and as always I will see you in the next video.